Hi, I'm Drew with Vicaros, and today I'm going to walk you through our Vicaros Connect app. I'm going to start off by turning on my Atlas 2 and having it nearby. Once you open up the app, you're going to see your boat profile here, and you're able to add unlimited boat profiles. Once you open it up, you're going to see boat info, devices, racing, and settings. Under racing, we're going to go into a starting timer where you can customize the minutes to starting signal. Right now, mine is set to five minutes, as you can see on my device. You can also toggle off the countdown songs. Underneath that is starting line where you can customize your bow offset. Right now, I don't have one inputted. Underneath, you can edit your boat information, including the name, class, and your sail number. Let's go into your device. You're going to start off by seeing your device information, Bluetooth connectivity, serial number, firmware version, etc. Under that is display and sound. We're going to start off by looking into the backlight where you can customize whether it's a manual or automatically turns on when it gets dark out. Customize the brightness and sensitivity. Under that, you can change the LED brightness and then the sound level. And then underneath that, you can add an alarm if you have a transducer connected. Next, we have data channels. We're going to start off by clicking into magnetic heading. This is where you can change on or off your true heading and change the dampening. The dampening is going to be how sensitive your device is to changing the numbers. So right now it's at very weak. I'm going to set it at weak. So the more, the weaker the dampening, the more sensitive it's going to be. On the bottom you can see I changed something in my profile settings that needs to be saved. It's going to be the same amount of dampening, the same kind of dampening in GPS, IMU, and VMG. Under that is general. You can change your clock settings from a 24 to 12 hour, automatic time zone, so you, or you can set it manually. Going back, you can change your orientation, whether your device is mounted upright or in a prone position, or if it is mounted in a customized rotation offset. You can add that, those degrees in there. Next is telemetry logging, where you can turn it off or change the frequency, rename the profile, etc. Let's go back up into our display layout. This is where you can change how your device is going to look. Right now, you can see all the different screens I have by scrolling on the bottom. And you can see there's my matched up screens to my device. Under above this one it says it has a home. The home and the flag are my home and my starting screens. You can change whatever screen you want assigned to be your home screen. So let's change a widget by tapping on it and pressing change widget. I'm going to change mine to a timer and change this middle one to my VMG. Next, I'm going to sh show you how to delete by pressing the gear at the top. If you have too many profile that are the same, pressing the plus button, you can add in a screen. I'm going to add in a customized screen where it doesn't have any widgets in and I can go in and select whatever widgets I would like to. By tapping the widget you can also configure the widgets colors whether it's black with white numbers, white with black numbers. You can configure the LEDs to be any of the following. Press it save. You can also set this as the home or start page, configure the buttons. There's a whole lot that you can do with the settings.
So don't forget to press save and your Atlas 2 is going to restart automatically with those new changes. It's always good to toggle through the screens, make sure that any changes that you've made are there. You can see there's my timer and VMG that I changed. I don't have that second screen that I had before. The next tab in the app is going to be devices. Right now I have two devices in my account. Right here you can change the device name if you'd like to, as well as calibrating the compass. It gives you all the instructions right in the app, as well as factory reset and removing this device from your account. The next tab is our live. Right now I don't have a GPS signal, so it's not going to connect. The next tab is sessions. This is where you can download and view all your sessions. You can see there's a funnel at the top and that is going to allow you to select or deselect any devices that you have. By tapping in this session, you can view the values that you want to display. Right now, I am going to click on speed over ground and heading and then tap away. And as I scroll through on the bottom graph, you're going to see the numbers change as my session progresses throughout the day. You can also see it has logged a race for me. When I pressed start and end a race and the top, you're able to share the session to your socials, add a photo, export your session. You can scroll to trim it, change the format file, and then export it. I'm not going to do that at this time. If we go back to the next tab is the account tab where you can see, go to our website, see the user manual, change your password, sign out, or delete your account. Thank you for watching and let me know if you guys have any more questions.